सो आई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल एंड अगेन आई एम बैक विद अनदर पार्ट ऑफ माई पाइथन बेसिक सीरीज एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज यूजर इनपुट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी शॉर्ट वीडियो इन विच आई विल जस्ट शो यू हाउ वी कैन टेक इनपुट फ्रॉम द यूजर इन अ पाइथन यूजिंग अ जुपिटर नोटबुक और इन अ पाइथन स्क्रिप्ट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड uh first of all you can see that this is my jupiter notebook now i am having python version 3.7 and that is why in case of python version 3.7 the function which is used to take the user input is called as input so i will just write here input and i will make it a markdown cell just to make it a heading so in case of uh, python 3.7 version if you want to take an input you just write here the variable name so for example x equals to and then input the bracket inside the bracket you can write any expression which can actually just show you the text uh, besides that input box so for example enter a number oh sorry enter a number and uh, now you see that i have got a text here enter a number and just alongside it there is an input box and in this input box i will just write anything so maybe i'll write here 100 and i will press enter and now if i want to print x you will see that my x is printed and the value of this x is a string but uh, the actual string is 100 okay so uh using this i think this is pretty much clear that whenever you are using an input function whatever input you fill into that text box is always going to be a string no matter if you are adding a number or if you are adding a string or a float or any data type it will always be a string so for example if i just show you x is equals to input and i write here enter a list and and uh, now here i enter a list 1 2 3 and enter now if i print this x you will see that it is printed as a string and even if i check the type of it you will see that the type of x is a string okay so guys if you want to convert your input into uh, from string to something else for example here my input was a numeric input and i want to get a numeric result or an integer result then what you have to do is you have to parse it okay so for example in this case if i want x equals to input enter a number and i want that this should be captured as an integer i will just write integer here and this integer function will parse my input from string to integer and let's say if i enter here 200 now if i print x it will be a numeric value and even if i print the type of x it is a integer here so guys i hope that was clear to you one more thing i want to show you is that not only we can do this thing with uh jupyter notebook we can do the same thing in a python script as well so here i have an ide called as spider and you can see here that i have defined a variable here x again and i will just write here enter a value and now when i execute this script you will see that in my screen here in my console i will get enter a value written so if you are executing your script in any console could it be a command prompt could be could it be uh you know pycharm or any id you will get such sort of string here and here you can write any value for example i will write here python and now you will uh, i didn't print it but now my x variable is actually having a python value so if i just print x and execute this script again and uh, now if i give here python you will see that python is printed So guys input is actually used if you are having python 3.7 version if you are having python version 2.7 so if you have okay i will use the notebook here so if you have a python 2.7 version then your uh, input function is called as a raw input so basically instead of using x is equals to input you will be using x is equals to raw input and then whatever uh, will be the input will be stored in the text box that is 
displayed next okay so guys that was the video and i hope it is clear to you and you learned something from it if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for further notifications thank you so much everyone and bye bye